Hi everyone! So today I thought I would uh, retry uh, what I did uh, last time with the lines uh, but I mixed more paint so I would be sure to cover the whole canvas and maybe get the lines of cells that I was talking about or maybe just the lines, who knows? We'll see what happens. Uh, last time was a surprise so I'm not sure what to expect this time but I think it's going to look uh, pretty nice so let's get started with that I first of all mix my paints the usual way uh, for the fluid acrylics it's 30% uh, paint to 70% medium for the heavy body it's 50-50 paint in medium and 25% water and for the acrylic inks it's about one part ink to ten part medium and then a little bit of water just to say I also put a bit of water in the blue uh, no water in the white the white I want to remain heavy uh, the reason I put water in the blue is because I want to lighten the density since the paint uh, the water has a lighter density than the paint and, uh, and pigments so I will uh, zoom you in and we'll get started with that okay so I have my cup here and I'm going to pour my paint uh, in order of densities except I'm going to keep the white for the opposite side of where I'm going to pour so the densest here is uh, the manganese blue hue it has um, it is a pigment mix and it has a zinc white mixed in so I put it in the bottom and then it's uh, the pearlescent pink here it's a mix of pigments again uh, probably mica, naphtal red and titanium white so it's going on top of the blue using the side of the cup to layer the paints and then in the, interestingly enough uh, the pyrrole orange and the was it um, carmine red have the same density so I'm going to put the carmine red first and then the barrel orange I may have mixed too much paint so I'll go with the fluorescent red and orange I mixed both together here and then I'll put the zinc white on the side yeah, I mix way too much paint. So that will, yeah, exactly. Give you a time lapse. 
case uh, things happen. But yeah, it didn't quite uh, go as uh, I planned, but it looks nice. Alright, so, um, I had way too much color. I have uh, some left. I'm going to do another painting right away with that. Um, so, I do not waste too much. And the skins I'm going to keep for whatever project comes my way. So, what I like about this painting is uh, the smoothness and the lines. Uh, love the lines as always but there are some smooth parts very nice um, and it degrades like in colors start orange in the middle is more in the blues and even purple because the carmine red mixed with the blue and then it goes back to orange what i was looking for is those kind of cells here um, on the side and a bit here it happened a bit uh, well in the bottom but it's okay nice lines in the corner uh, like that love that actually same on the other corner and I have a uh, lonely cells cell here and I'm not too sure why <laughs> but that's okay <laughs> I guess uh, it's going to keep selling up a bit and We'll see how it, that turns out. I'm uh, probably going to keep changing and I'm just loving the lines and I think uh, I have to retry this again. Uh, with less paint but enough paint to cover my canvas. Like there's an in-between. Here I, w I went way overboard <laughs> but it happens uh, and I have paint for an other painting so yay and yeah I didn't get an, uh, that much cells like last time because uh, most of my zinc white is still here I didn't put a lot at all in my cup because again I had too much paints but um, quite happy with the result uh, and yeah I think it looks nice and I can't wait, cannot wait to see how that will dry. So yeah. Lovely. There's a, blue, a bit of blue popping through here, the orange. We'll see how that keeps changing, but it's just so slow at the moment that it's not worth continuing the time lapse. So, uh, but you will get pictures at the end of the video as, the, as usual in the outro. See how that turned out with the fluorescence and the daylight. So yeah, nice painting actually, I like it. Alright, we're back. And I also forgot to mention there's some pearlescent paint in there as well, the pink. And I can't wait to see how well they are that will show up in the painting because right now it's rather dull because it's mixed with the medium but as the medium will dry it will dry transparent everything will darken and the metallic well pearlescent paint will pop up and i can see a bit of pink here and there but uh, we can't wait to see uh, when it's dry where it exactly will be i think it's going to make the painting even more interesting and uh, quite happy about it. I love um, really the middle part. It's so uh, love the blue and how it mixed with the purple, uh, the purple, the carmine red. It makes made purple mix. I love it. Um, it's just a nice painting overall. Overall, and uh, I'll have to figure out something to do with the the rest of my paint in here and um, the rest of the paint there. Uh, probably 
Uh, another painting, of course, but what? Uh, maybe I, I paint on everything or something like that because um, I have a bit of an idea on something I want to do. So, um, on that note, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day. Make sure to subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!